Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome back. And I've figured every two or three episodes, we're going to go back on what I promised I would do and finish it off. So for starters, I said we were going to make a platform here and I kind of made a temporary hillside. And uh, the reason I say temporary is because I'm pretty sure it doesn't look good. But uh, you can see I've got the, the stone slightly shaped and things like that. And uh, we've got this path started here. But the important part today is we're going to go through things. We need to, on these episodes, finish off things that we pretty much looked at in the past. So sticking to a schedule, that's what I'm trying my absolute best to do. Um, that should make it perfectly fine. And uh, we can just skip over the things that we've already done from episode one, but we kind of need the spelling of suggestions to be correct. And that's where I'm going to have to draw the line. Like, I can never spell. So, S-U-J-J. Estions. Surge Estions. That's what we'll say. Uh, and so, let's just go through it. We're going to build some more stables. And I figure we should do that in this episode. And we're going to fix and upgrade Village 1 eventually. Currently, not this episode. But we need to get a secondary house. Because... It's tiring flying all the way back over here to get to the house and stuff. And uh, we're going to do that first zombie spawner that we found today. So we'll see where this all goes and things, but we're going to do it really quickly so that it is done. I kind of need to finish things that I promise, so that's it. Uh, yeah, so we're going to do horse stables next. Ignoring the litter. So we should have two here, put by wood, and these will be three by threes. One, two, three. I'm just uh, trying to decide how to map it out. We need two because uh, we are going to get other animals like mules and things, but I kind of want to do something different to the usual. and. There is where the border borders of this horse stables will go. And there. Let's just see how this looks. Because uh, uh, let's not do that word. Let's just quickly go here. Like so. I believe this should be good, and we should have a, a building next to it, I believe. And I th think that room would go here, potentially. And it's just going to mimic the sides of the other rooms. Not that that is important at all. It's just uh, for a slight change. And we can just grab the bone block. And, uh, yeah, that would seem big enough. So let's just see exactly how this looks. I kind of wonder if uh, our horse will enjoy it, but uh, I haven't done the lighting in here. And for some reason, I put a furnace there. Not that I used it. I need to take away the, the green from underneath these little pieces of slabs I was like pieces of wood no slabs these little slabs and I might take the orange away but I think it fits with the the light brown from the floor the thing that you should know is uh, at least the horses can't get through two slabs by themselves so we can just get him our fast horse and put him where he deserves to stay. Oh, he doesn't like being run around. And yes, it deals damage to us, but that's okay. Now he should be safe. And he's pretty. Yeah. This is now the time for the next step. So, I'm going to sort out my inventory. Which will take a moment or two or three for me. 
and then you'll be back. So that slab trick didn't work. So I have no clue. We're just going to use fence gates for now. But uh, let's just head this way. And uh, we'll go over here. Because this is where the next project has to begin for what we need to do like we said we would. And uh, I kind of don't want to accidentally die. So we're going to have to just quickly head down here with water. And it's probably going to take away all of the torches. And uh, that might be disastrous. But uh, this might not even be where we're trying to go. Ah. It is. So perfect. One moment while I prep the area because we're going to do a different farm. Perfect. So three above and what we're going to do in the middle, which confuses some people, is yes, it's a cobblestone and yes, I could have used smooth stone, but there we go. We just put that over the center so we can't go underneath them by accident. So one, two, three. So we just dig this down so that there are three gap uh, three blocks gaps because they're going to in the past bob in the water but we don't care about that as much now with the new water mechanics we just need to make this flat and we're going to leave the torches up here i just picked random spots in diagonal lines and random not really because i picked the spots so now this is going to be a trident farm I have no idea which side I'm supposed to point this, but two from the one side, we just dig this away, just a little bit, oh, and I keep finding iron, and then we'll make three, one further than that, just because of the radius of where it looks for things and stuff like that, we don't really care about that, but then we go down two over here. This gives us a chance to use less water, but we're not putting the water in yet, so we'll just light that up and then jump up. So I'm just going to collect things around here because as you saw, the, the blocks here, I want to get the coal and things like that, so one moment. Now we need to prep the landing zone, but it's going to be slightly small. Just because we're not too worried about this. Like, we don't need to make this a, a 10 chunk farm. But we're just going to go 4 blocks back. Because 4 is what I happened to choose. And uh, we're going to neaten it afterwards. Just for starters, it's just going to be the 4 blocks. Now, we will need to block them over here so what we're going to do just for safety sake because uh, you'll you'll see why <laughs> this is kind of weird uh where did i put the rafting table well i probably put it somewhere that i sh thought of before and just left it there and let's just grab six and what we're going to do is make trapdoors and i just decided trapdoors for no apparent reason because uh we're kind of just doing this at a whim and we need one more but then what we're going to do is grab ourselves some half slabs and we're going to stick half slabs over here like so and we're going to leave one gap over here for the moment because now we need to grab another bucket so what we're going to do first is we're going to make a walkway up and uh, I figure we're going to go up to um, er, er, er. let's just see one two and then we'll go two then uh, we'll do the same over here. One, two, and then we'll go two over here. So one moment, I'm going to make this taller and go and fetch the resources.
for the next step, we're going to put chests along here. And we're not going to put them together because uh, eh, why not just make them separate? And now we'll make hoppers point into the chests. And uh, this is going to collect the drops from the farm. Now we need to build this block up. But first we need to just block all the water here so that we can get quick infinite sources. And what we'll do is just go across like so. And now we'll take away these blocks and we can take the torches. Now let's just be as quick as we can. Ooh, do you know what I forgot? I forgot to close that. So let's just do that. There we go. And uh, the zombies can get through here. So let's just uh, use a temporary block while we just go grab our slabs. There we go. And then we can just get a trapdoor. Now, when they have tridents, they will be able to kill us. But you'll be able to see in a moment what we are building. We just need to wait for them to start drowning. And then we can move on. And that shouldn't take too long. Because uh, they're in water. You see, shaking. There we go. Let's just wait for the second one. And we're going to just uh, try and finish these guys. But yeah, one moment. I waited a bit and kind of started making parts of the walkway up. I want to take away the, the lights and stuff, mostly, but uh, it doesn't seem like they're getting tridents from this, which is completely different from, I think, the bedrock edition, where people made farms that do the same thing around them and make tridents occur, that we can get tridents, but let's just see after we've killed them all. Hopefully this will pay off for us. Because they do seem to be picking up items. And uh, that means they just might not be able to see us. Because the items aren't coming through. Like, this is semi neat. Come on. Just uh, pass away. So we can just take a look. Well, take a glance. A look is not the correct word. Take a glance at a few of the chests. To see what we got. And, uh, yeah. So, we're getting quite a lot of gold from the drowned. Neat. Ooh, and there we go. There was a head. But yeah, so this is how we're sort of trying to get guidance. And I just went, wait, let's just stick that there. But, uh, this doesn't seem to guarantee it. Maybe we'll find one in the future. As a side note, as you can see, I adjusted it so I don't get harassed by the slimes. They can't get through that. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of not really that important. I don't know if I shared it before, but if I did, whoopsie. And I did cover the top there, and I adjusted this walkway so it looks better. But this isn't the main thing. Like, I kind of decided that we need to see the the center of our map which currently is the storage area and the villager breeder and stuff like that and as you can see i kind of did some work which you will have seen in several places i i've done more on the paths and things like that but uh this is where we're going to start the the main house so i think we're going to go up to this level and one up from that and then we're going to go across because we're going to make some lines for the first room like so and there we go and we're going to also do those lines on the floor this might be bad and such just let me know how it looks because I 
can't decide what I'm going with. That's why I keep changing things. So there we go. And now let's grab the gray. So we're going to come across this way. I think four blocks and turn. So that's going to be a three by three area like so. And then we'll go one down. Actually, no, that's going to go up to the same level. Or like this. And we're going to come across here like so. Like this is just the, the boxes. Never mind anything else. Now this side is going to be a wall. But uh, that's just because we want this to be arbitrary sets of colors mostly. Now I haven't done the the glass for the windows yet. I just thought about it. Yes. So there we go. And we'll leave that for the front door. And then we can just grab the white. Because this is what we're going to do to section off the rooms and things. So this would be, for instance, maybe a kitchen and lounge. The pathway, we might put a decoration or two over there. And we'll just fill that up mostly. Not put that up there. I kind of think that uh, it's decent to do something completely different. And uh, that's why I'm trying on my own to make a house. And I think this should be solid. So building things that are completely different works perfectly fine usually. But also some of the time we don't want that. Now I think this should be a three by three area. Uh, no, Ac actually, yes. I was just like, uh, no, that's three. And there we go. And we'll just stick gray in the corners because we're going to make walls of those. And there we go. Let's just, uh, actually put more on our hotbar there we go this will be white and it's going to mostly be just the purple here and i was like oh we don't have enough purple but we can take out these middle blocks i think because those will make gray because that is the last purple we'll need. And then let's just hop up into the house again. There we go. Let's stick that there and that there. And that three actually works perfectly. Because that'll be the last that we need. And then here, yeah, this tree is in the way. Which is kind of annoying. But uh we can just take a bit of it away from where we're working. So that should be mostly fine, apart from that being connected. There, now it'll despawn. And we can just go across here. This is going to be shorter than all of the other rooms. And uh, the corners we're going to do grey. But don't worry. I'm just like, ooh, can we get that? And I don't think we can. Let's just get that there, like so. Now this is like a slightly weird house currently, but we'll just need to decorate it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Then we need a three wide platform over here. And it's going to go one, two, three that there's a two two walkway a, a two wide walkway up to there because this wall is going to come along here 
And it is going to be white, unfortunately. But there we go. Because here, this will be our bedroom. And uh, that's next to a place where we'll be able to fly to and from with our elytra. That is obviously the actual plan there. And I'm thinking about it, we might do something else for the roof here. I just mostly can't decide currently. And I wouldn't mind tips and suggestions because uh, this is probably going to end up being a slightly bad build and I'll probably have to adjust it several times. So, yes. Let me just finish out this, like, wrapping of where the house is going to be. And then we'll be back. I can't decide if this is decent or not. Like, it might need a little bit more in adjustments. And I might fall. But uh, I kind of feel like this is pretty decent. We need to do the lighting and stuff for these rooms. I just can't really decide yet what light to use. So we're just going to do the default boring option and just put a torch in each one in like two spots in the big one what should i decorate these rooms with and uh, how should i make this look like i kind of want to make a garden and underneath the house make a, a flower garden and stuff like that so just if you don't mind let me know what you think is going to look good there and i think there will be one or two adjustments to how this house is like this might become a purple block and so will the one above the door potentially i just can't really decide so i wouldn't mind if you guys helped me out and uh, all i can say when you look at me in the eyes hello is thank you very much and i appreciate that you're watching and i hope i see you guys next time there we go. Infinite power.